Hey everyone, Sean Pierce from Dental Pierce bringing you our latest installment in Meet Our Partners. And today, happy to bring to you Eric Bridot. I work on that, that French pronunciation, make sure I get it as good as I good. can. Yeah. Yeah, Roll perfect. my R's properly. Yeah, uh, right on. Eric is with our partner at Hugh Freedy, and they've been a, a great supporter of dental peers and, and a great supporter of the dental community at large. So we're very happy to have them on board and very happy to welcome Eric with us today. How you doing, Eric? Doing great. Doing great. Thanks so much, Sean, for, for this. You know, I'm excited to talk uh, a little bit about Hugh Freedy and, and Hugh Freedy Group. And, and so some of the new terms that you might uh, here today may, may be new to, to most of you. So uh, first off, uh, I'm the regional account manager for Hugh Freedy here in the Ottawa area. My territory does expand to uh, northern uh, Ontario and Sudbury, uh, you know, kind of the Belleville area, and more of the national capital region into the Utahway and, uh, and Gatineau. Uh, and I also cover uh, Atlantic Canada as well. And so um, at the end of this presentation, I'll have my contact info. Um, you know, I'll be skimming through a lot of uh, different topics fairly briefly. I want to keep it pretty straightforward and brief. And so if there's any questions, you feel, feel free to shoot me a text or email me, give me a call and, and we can definitely uh, chat for sure. So what I'll do uh, is I'll just share my screen here quickly. There you go. And you can see that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're in, okay. you're in the driver's seat. You're in control. Perfect. So I'll just minimize this real quick so I can see a bit better as well. So Hugh Freedy, so, um, you know, most of you might be thinking of Hugh Freedy, kind of the, the bread and uh, butter uh, of, of the, the brand you may see there on, on screen is, you know, Hugh Freedy really is the best and the leading instrument manufacturer in dental. And, um, you know, Hugh Freedy uh, has been around since 1908. We've been around for over 100 years. And recently we've become part of this large, uh, larger umbrella called Hugh Freedy Group. And so within Hugh Freedy Group, as you can see, we uh, now are comprised of Crostex and Accutron, Palmero. And so as you can see, there's a little bit of an infection control uh, uh, type theme there. And along with that, we're, we have our great partnership with uh, EMF and Switzerland. And I'll get into that a little bit at the end with our power therapies and airflow and, and piezo units as well. So um, th this is a nice little snapshot of, of everything uh, that uh, you know, makes up Hugh Freedy Group. So first and foremost, I wanted to chat about IMS or Instrument Management System. That's what that stands for. Um, and really since the beginning, right, since 30, uh, 20 to 30 years ago when Hugh Free first came out with IMS and, and kind of the first concept and how this all worked, um, you know, the, the messaging was, was very, very similar, right? And in the day uh, and age right now in the last two, three years with the breaches uh, kind of going on in Ontario and different provinces and, and states in North America, and really in the last couple, you know, uh, months, uh, within the last year with, with COVID, um, infection control has, has never been uh, more important. And our messaging has been really simple over the last, you know, 20, 25 years, and that has been, you know, to promote uh, a reduction in Sharps injuries, to promote an efficiency and an efficacy in the office that cassettes can bring and, an, and a whole system can bring to an office, along with being a little bit more organized and, and you know, um, consuming or being a little bit smarter with your consumables. The backbone of all of that has always really been infection control. The messaging has, has never changed regardless of, um, you know, the breach and the, the current, you know, circumstances uh, out in the field. And so, um, you know, again, never been more important uh, than right now to, to consider, you know, reviewing the infection control uh, protocol in the office. And um, a lot of offices or people may think it, it's it might be a little bit difficult to, to get into an IMS system or might be to see these large cassettes. Don't forget, there are much smaller size cassettes out there. It's not about these really large cassettes either. But uh, I wanted to give you an example here of uh, it's a nice uh, image that we took a couple of years ago of the, it's actually the same kit from the left image to the right image. Think of all the pouches every time and, and thinking of a, a kit that has scissors and hemostats and a, uh, you know, an anesthetic syringe and mirror heads separated from the mirror handle as they should. Anything that can be disassembled should be disassembled. And so uh, also thinking of the manufacturer's instructions for use, uh, for the use of pouches, it's typically no more than two to three to maybe five instruments per pouch. Uh, pouch. They, they can't be tied together and kind of, you know, uh, compacted with multiple contact points. And so if you were to pouch them adequately, kind of, you know, by the book, um, this is what a typical kit would look like. Think of that compound effect over time getting the same kit into an adequate sized cassette 
that's one piece of wrap, one piece of tape, uh, well, a couple pieces of tape, a small piece of tape all together. Uh, you know, this kit might be used two, three times a day. The, a replica of this kit, you know, multiple kits, procedures, you know, hygiene restorative, all these different uh, procedures may be used dozens of time a, times a day. Think of all these pouches that tend to add up. So there's a big cost saving uh, measure there. Um, so what does it take to, to get into an IMS, so, uh, an IMS system? Definitely reach out if you have any more questions, but the simple answer is as long as you have a minimum of a three gallon ultrason ultrasonic or uh, an instrument washer, whether it's a, a small or a large one, the very common brand out there is a, is a Hydrum by Sycan uh, with a 10 inch chambered you know, sterilizer or larger. This is very common to see in an office. You're not really stretching uh, the imagination to really, uh, you know, these aren't really foreign uh, equipment uh, to, to have in an office. Uh, even a simple ultrasonic, a large three gallon ultrasonic or larger uh, works as well. We just want to avoid the little one gallon, which still has its place. It's still useful, but I find that offices kind of stretch that little guy and, and you see the center image there of kind of overloading, having a lot of instruments touching together. We want to avoid that and, and utilize the IMS uh, you know, system with the, the, the hinged instrument clips and the air water clips and the instruments all having their individual spot and organization takes a little longer with an ultrasonic um, bath, but it works uh, a little bit more effective and efficient with, uh, with an instrument washer. But again, those are things that we can get into. Um, if we sit down and go through maybe a sterilization observation with the clinic or do an infection control walkthrough, look at chair side protocol from, you know, dirty, clean to sterile in the Steri Center. Uh, and, you know, these are walkthroughs that we can offer uh, your group members to, to, to review this. One of the big ones right now is green light. This is fairly new for Hugh Freedy. It's uh, been out for a couple of years now in Ontario, it just launched, so it's pretty exciting. We are launching green light, our dental uh, compliance center. Uh, it's an online portal that we're launching. We're, we're doing it as a phased approach. And um, the reason for that is it's very specific to your local regulatory body. So it's, it's a, an online member portal. It's an all-in-one resource for any kind of customized infection control protocols um, that you may want to uh, you know, communicate to your office and have logged into this online portal. Like I mentioned, it is very specific to your local regulatory body. So that's the RCDSO and your IPAC guidelines and CSA. Um, again, very specific to that. And we're phasing it into Quebec and Atlantic provinces and other provinces across Canada um, you know, over time. And the self-audit is neat uh, as well. It, this has, I've seen this tool been, been used by a lot of offices recently for any kind of uh, members that have recently come on board and they need training and they'd like to do a self audit, well, all your protocols are, are uh, you know, available in one place. And there's a lot of educational webinars and you know, communication on any kind of infection control or breaches or lapses that are happening in your area, uh, especially in a, a, you know, a COVID day and age right now, a lot of updates there um, you know, nonstop. And so Greenlight's a great tool. Again, this is something that you can reach out if you need more info. Um, if you are a Hugh Freedy IMS user, a cassette user, reach out. You're, you're eligible for this. I can give you more details. Uh, we can even do a little demo and have a, a bit more of a chat on it. But Greenlight's a very useful tool uh, that, uh, that's just going to keep growing. So I can talk about infection control. I can talk about uh, cassettes and, and instrumentation. There's a lot of specific instruments I could talk about as well. You know, there's some forceps uh, out there that, uh, that we released in the over the last couple months. There's definitely a lot of beautiful instrumentation in the, on the ortho side, surgical, restorative. The one I wanted to um, uh, highlight is our new Harmony Scaler. And so right now uh, in the middle of COVID and over the last couple months, there has been a greater uh, focus on hand instrumentation due to the reduction in aerosol generating procedures. That's just a fact. Hand instrumentation has, has made a bit of a, a comeback. And so we know that 70% of hygienists at some point in time experience some form of hand, wrist, um, or arm pain over their career. And it doesn't take 20, 30 years. You know, a lot of hygienists will, will relate to this even after six months or a year of practicing. It's a lot of micro mo movements. It's a lot of, uh, you know, repetitive motions that will add up. And so if you've really got to work in the last four or five years, we've done a lot of extensive research uh, around what would be the most ergonomic scaler that we can create on the market. And we did this, uh, it was pretty neat actually. If you see the, the, the glove on the left, it uh, was able to register input and outputs of 2.8 million different data points. And it was able to register pressure on the tooth, uh, pinch force on the surface of the instrument. 
And we were able to compare that to some of the leading instruments out there, including uh, the love it, you know, our beloved number nine handle, our Everedge 2.0 number nine handle that's, that's very popular. Um, and so after all that, this is the, the kind of the final instrument that we came up with. It's very reminiscent of our number nine handle, the Everedge 2 number nine handle, but it's got that modified kind of double helix uh, shape and pattern. Um, we've been able to show a reduction in pinch force up to 65%. And uh, we sh uh, were able to show a, a reduction in the pressure on the surface of the tooth of up to 37% as well. And so it's the same kind of design language. You can see that same comfortable look and feel, uh, but it's evolved. And uh, if you're ever wondering on what, you know, about what this instrument look and feel like, definitely reach out. Uh, we can uh, meet in person to, you can hold the instrument. A lot of offices have actually completely jumped to Harmony, even over Everedge 2.0 with, with a number nine handle. They've made the switch completely in their kits and they love it. No one's called me and, and you know, uh, uh, told me that they want to go back. They really do love it. Some have started kind of half and half, but that's definitely something I'd recommend you jump into. This is a, a really fun instrument and they're in stock right now. We, we released this a couple months ago. So it's been, it's been really exciting to have this in our portfolio. So this is another uh, look at Harmony from a different angle here, but uh, you know, any company can release an instrument with a large, bubbly, bigger and bigger. We can handles can keep getting bigger and bigger, bigger. But what we found uh, is is really this is the sweet spot. This shape, this pattern, this feel. Uh, was a lot, uh, you know, years of research and data collected to to find the perfect match. And we got a lot of feedback from uh, those in the field when we were we were actually uh, testing this instrument as well. So uh, reach out for this. Next and final topic is airflow and, and GBT or guided biofilm therapy. Here's a snapshot of some of the airflow devices you may have already seen uh, in offices. Uh, this is our airflow specific units here. So a uh, very beautiful unit. And, and listen, this doesn't do it justice. You really have to see these in person. Uh, these are our airflow and piezo combination units with the LED lighting and the built-in water heater and the pressurized chamber and the very basically maintenance-free uh, you know, nature of the unit. It's very, very fun and easy to use. And, and um, the, the concept is really centered around, concept is centered around guided biofilm therapy. And so in a sense, it's, um, it's air polishing, right? But most of you might think of air polishing and, and may just associate that with stain removal or more of a cosmetic approach. It'll take care of that too. We, you know, we've got uh, glycine and erythritol powders and sodium bicarbonate, some more abrasive powders on the market as well. We've got you covered there, but um, that's a small, small fraction of, of what's available uh, on the guided biofilm therapy side and the air polishing side. What we're more focused on is the therapeutic effect, the, the fact that you can use these instruments uh, along the tissue and towards the sulcus uh, on an implant surface around ortho, uh, you know, crowns and veneers and restorations on tissue, on the tongue. It's very, very delicate. It's very comfortable. Um, this is a nice implant video here where you can see, um, you know, a lot of GBT work being done uh, from a, the perspective of uh, implant maintenance. Um, so reach out uh, if you've got questions about, you know, periodontal maintenance or, you know, peri-implantitis. Um, reach out, you know, guided biofilm therapy is a, is a very um, easy uh, topic to cover. These, uh, this, this equipment can be demoed in an office too. I bring it in and, and we can, you know, definitely do a demo over lunch or talk about, you know, how, how guided biofilm therapy can be a protocol that can be implemented either in the hygiene program or, or you know, in the office as a whole. So uh, very fun stuff. Again, this is a, basically an air powder and water mixture that again can go directly towards the tissue subgingivally in some cases you'll see in a couple seconds here uh, we have a nozzle that works uh, up to 10 millimeters from four to 10 millimeters deep so uh, really impressive stuff uh, and uh, again don't don't be shy to, to reach out there uh, here's a quick little snapshot too of the difference between um, our ultrasonic our ultrasonic scaler and an airflow polisher kind of used live it's a very delicate surface it's a quail egg it's basically the stain of a quail egg being removed uh, you know, in, in one case on the left with our ultrasonic, our piezoceramic PS tip, and on the left, or on the right, sorry, is our airflow uh, handpiece. And so, uh, again, reach out and, and uh, ask for more info there. Um, we don't just offer, you know, piezon. We talked about that a little bit. We do offer uh, magnetostrictive uh, technology as well. And so, uh, you may have noticed with Eufridi, uh some of you have used this, and some of your ultrasonic 
scalars as well. Um, we have the, the swivel patent on some of our uh, inserts. And so we have the smaller sizes, the larger sizes, a little more ergonomic. We also have the swivel function here. So we have that technology. We're one of the rare circumstances where we actually understand and, and, and offer piezo ceramic technology. And we also offer magnetostrictive technology as well. So the best of both worlds, again, reach out if you'd like to know the differences and learn how you could um, you know, maybe implement some of these uh, products in your pra practices. So here's my contact info here. Before I get back to this page, I wanted to show just our landing page for upcoming event as well. So um, we'll be able to send this out. I think we may have already sent it out to our um, our members here, but our virtual event, our, our virtual event summit coming up on Friday, January 22nd, be sure to register. If you can't make it live, if you do register, you'll be able to access this uh, on demand. You'll be using the promo code I'll have up on the screen here. And that'll save your spot to be able to watch this again on demand after or watch it live. Really neat, awesome, uh, you know, key opinion leaders that'll be uh, presenting as well. And so it's it's an event you're, you're not going to want to miss. And again, uh, at least register for it and you'll be able to catch it on demand. It's very interactive. It's uh, much, much different than just a, basically a video that's been pre-recorded. This is the stuff that, uh, you know, we've been working on over time. And as you can see here too, I'll be sending out this link as well. This is a link to our on-demand webinars, any webinars that we've had in the past. So whether it's air polishing or diagnostic or periodontal, a bunch of different categories, um, you know, we, we've got you covered in terms of, you know, CE on-demand webinars. So a lot of resources there that, that Hugh Freedy has to offer. Again, back to my info here, um, you know, Sean, I want to thank you for giving me a quick couple minutes here to, to talk about what Hugh Freedy Group can offer to your members. Uh, again, give me a call, send me an email or, uh, you know, shoot me a text and I'd be happy to, to, to connect with you. And that promo code on the bottom left, use that promo code to register for our uh, virtual event coming up on January 22nd. Well, thanks so much, Eric. That's a lot of great information that, uh, you know, some of the great products and, and services that you can get from Eric and his team at the Hugh Freedy Group. They are, as I said, have always been there to support the dental community. Definitely big, uh, big, big support for us and dental peers. And this is just a little bit of the example as to some of the great things that they can do. I know I'm signed up for the seminar on Friday, so I'm certainly looking forward to it. There's some great names. If you haven't had the chance to check it out, you will see a list of some really, really impressive, as, as Eric said, some thought leaders, uh, great, great industry spokespeople that are going to be presenting. So I'm looking forward to catching as much of that as I can on Friday so that I can be a little interactive. And, you know, if I have to miss a little bit here and there, I'll catch it on, the, I'll catch some of those on the recording. It promises to be a great event. So Eric, I really appreciate it. Thanks everything for everything that you do and for everything that the Hugh Freedy Group, that Hugh Freedy Group does to help support us as well. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Sean. All right. Take care, everyone. We will see you the next time with another surprise mystery partner when we present our next in the series of Meet Our Partners. Take care, everyone. Until then, we look forward to seeing you.